There's nothing you can do to make this look cool, not even with sunglasses. <laughs> Look at you. You must feel yourself also. Look at me. Yeah. Go to your side. <laughs> don't laugh. Today we have a very good vlog. Now, don't mind me. We're going to Italy. We're going to Slovenia. We're going to Trier. We are going all over the place. Enjoyed it so much. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> this will never see the light of day. No problem. <laughs> Blushing. <laughs> A great day was had by all. In winter 1940 1950, the British politicians and the French politicians they promised to Italy that they would get. Yeah. Not merely Istria, Trieste, Gorizia, but also the western part of what is nowadays Slovenia, and that they would get the half of Dalmatia. This is called the Mandracchio. This is the old type of uh, the Mediterranean harbor. The type of the harbor in the Mediterranean Sea in the Middle Ages. So it is well preserved here. So no. let's let's go over. Yeah. The Santa Maria delle Grazie church. If you look to the back side of the, this church here and you compare it with that one, then you would immediately see that there are the apses, three apses outside. Uh -huh. Here there is no apses outside, but if you enter, you see the apses inside. Original Syrian architecture of the late Roman and early Byzantine Empire in this region. And if you're going to the back side, outside, there is no because it is hiding in the walls. And this is the old Syrian tradition. Johannes and Meroditis, they have fulfilled their promise. That means that they have paid for the Mosaic. And this is a, a, a place which stems from a period in which the Roman culture and civilization was transformed into a Christian anti-culture. This stone stems from one island east of Athens. And the Italian called this marble Cipollino. Cipollino in this word, you have the word Cipolla. Cipolla means onion. And like the skins of the onions, the different layers, this is the message. So here we're sitting in Klagenfurt, in this delightful hairdresser, the hair shop here, and we're having our hair done. And the only one who's vaguely cool here is my son. So after Grado, we move on to Trieste. And by the way, to get from Grado to Trieste, you travel on a 200 year, give or take a few years, road that was commissioned by Napoleon. And it was the main wide road all the way to Trieste. He was a I'm visionary. very much in favor of Napoleon. And this is the castle is Duino. of Duino. The price of vanity. Beautiful harbor of Grignano, little village just outside Trieste where Max stops to meet the owner of Tavernetto al Molo, one of the top seafood restaurants in Trieste. Alas, no time to stop. Lunch will be in Slovenia today. And now we are entering the city of Trieste of the late 19th century. 
is this like in Vienna? This is the old uh, railway station was a Rochi Sudbahn. There's a lot to tell here. A lot to tell indeed. But let me tell you a little bit about my brother-in-law, Max. A doctor of history, a specialist in culinary, gourmet, travel, culture. Literally a walking encyclopedia on two legs. An amazing man. Oh, salvation is on its way. <laughs> now, I've been doing my highlights for years. I know. I remember the days when they put a plastic cap on your head and then they yeah. used a crocheting hook to pull the hair out of the cap. That was agony. Anyway, we left Trieste, then we went up into the hills and we met uh, Vician Sanson, who runs the Sanson Winery and they produce some of the most amazing olive oil. While the team were inside purchasing some excellent olive oil, some good wine, Max making some arrangements for an upcoming tour. That's right, he runs a tour company and this will be one of their stops. I was outside enjoying the spectacular creation of our Father in Heaven. Thunder, lightning, the finest weather in Italy, beautiful sunshine and some pretty dramatic cloud. Jedes Jahr schenkt der Teufel Gott eine Flasche Terrana. Jedes Jahr schenkt Gott dem Teufel eine Flasche Terrana. Deshalb hat der Terrano seinen himmlischen Duft und seine höllische Farbe. The best part, getting your hair washed. looking forward to a delicious lunch, we meet Chef Simon Komel and his lovely wife, Fazila. The couple together run very successful restaurants in Slovenia, renowned in the area of not only Slovenia but also Italy. Simon is an expert in curing ham, Italian ham commonly known as Pochetto. Okay, here we have the typical cast prosciutto drying for uh, 48 months. Uh, it's a little bit uh, longer drying procedure. Uh, downstairs we have frit frittata. frittata. This is the flour, egg and uh, different uh, fresh herbs. Uh, cheese with uh, uh, pepper and extract of Tehran. I am so hungry. <laughs> Two hours later we are here. <laughs> Max, what do you say? Good? So we are talking about the number of 5,600 ladies that went from the valley to Alessandria, Egypt to, to take care of yeah, the babies and so on. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah? In the 19th century, In the valley, young women from here Via Trieste, they moved to Alexandria and they worked in the wealthy Egypt. 
Yeah, to take care of the houses and take care of the... the and receive money, we especially in Coptic families. Cook for 72 hours on the low temperature, a puree of green beans and the cream of carrots. Ah. At last, yeah, at last. <laughs> uh, English and Italian. He spoke all the languages and the family was from Italy, somewhere in the northern part of Italy. But of course he spoke Maximilian Italian. Fabiani, another extraordinary character. And here we are visiting the museum of his local town in Slovenia. An architect, designer, creator of some of the most splendid architecture in Vienna. The water system that still works, now it still runs. No? Now the tinfoil's gone. This is a very old castle here. My brother-in-law Max is visiting it. He brings tours to all of these historic places and he's meeting right now with the Countess to make plans for a tour early in 2019. So I think that kind of wraps it up for this vlog. At least you see we're back to normal here. Yeah? Have a fantastic week and we'll catch you next week on the vlogs. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao.